Okay, good morning to everybody. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate that. Um, there was a guy called, his name was George, okay? He lived in upstate New York. Uh, 2 a.m. in the night, you know, he's, he was puzzled. I closed the, the light in the uh, storage in the backyard or not. Should I wake up in the, you know, from the bed or not? Then he said, okay, I will go to see if I close the light. He woke up, he went outside, and he sees, not only that he didn't close the light, he th see three people there, okay? Burglars are in his storage. Okay, he came back home, take the phone and called 911, Kilo, help me, you know, there is this burglars in my uh, storage in the backyard. The police woman said, I'm sorry, we don't have any police cars now available. Please, you know, you know lie on the ground, close the lights, close the windows, and Hashem Yazor. He, he said to her, you know, Hashem was there, but you know, please, you know, send me a police car. There, 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 there are valuable, value, valuable things there, okay? I'm sorry to tell you, I told you, I don't have to say it again. We don't have any available police cars. He said, okay, thank you. He hang up, count to 30, call back. Hey, hi, it's me again. You don't, be, you don't have to be in, in a hurry. I shut them, okay? I, I killed them, I killed them. And they are dead, and when you will have time, you can come and pick them up. <laughs> Closed. After two minutes, woo! <laughs> Five police cars with an helicopter in the air, you know? Policemen are coming from the helicopter with ropes. <laughs> Catching, catching the, uh, grabbing the, uh, the burglars, and the police commander told him, you said you killed them. He said, I, I said that they killed them? You said you don't have police cars, okay? You brought five. <laughs> so if somebody wants something, he will do that. It's only a matter of priorities, okay? So if I want to do something in my life, I have to understand what moves me, okay? What are the two forces, the main forces, that will make me to do what I, I want to do or what I will do in, in, in actually deeds. And the, those two forces, Chazal said, it's proceeding after pleasure and running away from pain. Okay, those two things that moves it, I want to have pleasures and I don't want to have pain, okay? And those are the main thing that will make me to do what I'm doing every day. Not me, all over the world, each one of us, okay? For example, you are a woman, okay? And of course, you put, a, no, did you put makeup today? Raise your hand, okay, you are very modest. Uh, we are not putting makeup, okay? But in the circular people, they put makeup. Of course, none of them wake up in the morning, I love this process, I love to put makeup. No, she did that. Or because she wanted pleasure, okay? She wanted compliments from her friends, you know, you're looking great, wow, it's, what's this, eyeliner? Okay, it's wonderful, very, very nice to you. Or she doesn't, she doesn't want to, to feel pain, okay? If she won't put makeup, you cannot, you cannot afford it, okay? You, you have to, uh, I'm sorry to tell you, it's morning and you, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a friend, please, for yourself, okay? So, of course, you want pleasures, and you don't want pain. And those are the things that will move me in each and every deed I will do. For example, we have things called procrastination. Of course, you don't procrastinate, pro 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 uh, how do you say that? <laughs> Poc uh, something, okay? Procrastinate, right? So if somebody is procrastinate, he think to himself, why am I not doing what I need to do? Because to do something, it's painful, okay? I don't have the strength, I don't have, I, I don't want to do that. It's easier to stay at home. So let's for take for example, it's not only pleasure and pain, it's if I have two pains that will, you know, I will have to decide what to do, I will choose the, the, the less pain, okay? For example, if I'm procrastinating something, it's because I need to do something. And I'm not doing that because the pain of doing, it's larger for me, it's bigger than the pain of not doing, okay? So I prefer not to do something. And I will procrastinate till something will happen. What will happen? I will feel that like I cannot handle it anymore. For example, my wife asking something for me to do, okay? Please help me in something. And I will do, I will say, I will do that. There's not a shame. On Friday, I didn't say the date. I didn't say which Friday, on Friday, okay? <laughs> The Black Friday. Uh, so, so, so I'm, I'm postponing it because, you know, it's hard and I don't have the patience to do that and maybe I will do it, but, you know, woman, you know how to, comp to compliments, to give compliments, but, 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 
you know how to destroy it. I will, I will help you. For example, my wife. I'm, I'm going, I, will, okay, I will come back to the story of the helping. But uh, this um, Thursday, my wife c came back from uh, the grocery shop. Okay, She bought a lot of things, a lot of uh, baggage. And she came home, and she was really a bit upset. And she said, I'm going to sleep. Okay, okay. I know if she's saying like that, she won't be able to go to sleep, okay? She will lie in bed, I cannot go to sleep, okay? My back, but my back hurts, I cannot go to sleep. So I decided to, to make her happy, okay? So I, I took all the things and I ordered, I managed them in the, uh, in the kitchen and things like that. After I finished, I, I wanted, I wanted to, get, to have pleasure, of, co of course, so I went to, to tell her what I've done. So I took her, I, I told you that? No. Okay, I, I took her to the, I, I came to the room, hi, ah, you're not asleep. <laughs> okay, so come with me. I took her to the kitchen and I said, look. And I was preparing myself to <laughs> applause. And of course, she said, it's very, very nice. Thank you for helping me. But, right, right, why do you say this bad thing? <laughs> You have to ruin everything. Why it was nice? We went on the good road, okay? No, but you can do it more often, okay? And no, 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 why? So I'm just telling you that. So, for example, my wife is asking for me to do something in home, and I'm really, I'm really willing to do that, okay? But the pain of doing that, it's it's bigger than the pain not to do, okay? Till something will happen, she will have it, okay? And then she will shout at me, I told you to do that! Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing that! Okay, I'm doing it. Now, the pain of not doing, it's larger than the pain to do that. Okay, so I will do that and I will finish with that. So what will drive me to do or not to do some things, <laughs> after that I will, I will finish and I will give you time to, to, uh, to have questions. You cannot postpone it. If, if you have like, the, I, I cannot, I cannot. I, so I will give you the opportunity. I believe you can wait, you know, please, because my mind is like, you know, I'm drafting here, what? I don't remember what I talk. I have ADHD, so, you know, you know it's a miracle that I'm sitting, okay? So, so I'm sorry, okay. But uh, remember the question, I will answer it at the end. So uh, what will drive me? It's seeking for pleasure, and I, I'm afraid of, of pain. For example, somebody wants to get married, okay? He wants the pleasure of, of family, of, you know, he's Bahu Shiva, he wants his place. He doesn't want to be with friends in, in the room. So he really wants the, the pleasure of getting married. Married. For, for example, maybe he saw a bad marriage in his home, okay? Between his parents, or let's, for example, his brother get, got, got divorced, okay? So in his head, relationship and pain are going together, okay? So he really wants to get married, but. You know, he knows, um, I want to get married, but it will bring me pain. So what will be most stronger? It's my choice. And this is the very important thing. For example, I want to, have, I want to do a diet. Not me, but it's, for example, somebody wants to do a diet, and somebody put him for, uh, in, uh, in front of him, Rogalach, okay? Rogalach, and in Unishmat, uh, his grandmother. So he doesn't want to, to eat the Rogale, but you know, he sees that too much. Can, it's, what's it, it's your man, grandmother? Okay, it's about the shit, okay. So now, he is puzzled what to do. In one side, you have the pleasure of the rogale, okay? And the second, the other side is the pain of becoming fat, okay, or uh, whatever, or feeling bad with himself. So what will be the most strong, what, 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 what will the, the decide, the kilo, the, the man, the man, my, my, my kba, what will decide, this, not decide. Okay, what will be the decider factor? Deciding, deciding factor. Again, what will be the deciding factor? Hmm? I'm telling you, who will be stronger, okay? Or the pleasure or the pain. And because the rogale is in front of me, and the pain of became, becoming fat, it's in the future. I, will, I think I will eat that, okay? And I'll start tomorrow the diet. Chazal said this is Esav and Yaakov. Esav and Yaakov. Esav, it's from the word Asui. It's something whole, okay? He, he was born with, with, with hair, okay? I don't know if I told you that. Uh, I gave a lecture in Ashkelon in, on the in election day, Yom HaBchirot. And one guy came to me and said to me, Fange, you have to hear my story. 
I have seven girls, and my grandfather really wanted a grandson, okay? We love girls, but you know, one. You just need to play, you know, football with him, learn to love, of course. So, but uh, the father, the grandfather didn't succeed uh, to see that. He died uh, from uh, um, um, diabetes, okay? So he died. Three months after he died, his wife of this uh, Avrech become, became pregnant. They did ultrasound and they discovered it's a boy, okay? He, she, get, got, she, she gave birth on, on Thursday. It was 10 o'clock in the night, Barzilai Hospital in Ashkelon. It was 10 o'clock in the night. Of course, the husband was awake. His brother was asleep. And the grandpa came in his dream and told him one word, or two words in Hebrew, in, in English. I came back. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to the woman, okay? She got birth. And the nurse in the hospital came with the baby for the first time and said to her, I want to show you your baby, but don't be terrified. I, want, I will show you the baby, but please understand, he was born with all his body with a beard. No, it's not Shalom, no. Uh, he was born, his three uh, fingers on the left leg are connected. Toes. Oh, toes, yeah. Toes of the leg are connected. He said to me, my grandfather, because of the, the diabetes, he, they took off his three, le three toes of his left shoe, his left foot. Is this the grandfather or not? We will know in the next chapter. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's nice. Okay, it's nice. Um, look, 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 let's go back to the first story. Where, where, where were we? You, you remember where we were? Where were we? You don't remember. You don't listen. Anymore. I had a dream that came back. Yeah, go back. Hi, Asa. Thank you. Whoa, please. So. Born hairy. Asa, yeah. Asa was born hairy. He was born like an animal. Okay, an animal. Hazal said that they are born whole, okay? Shor ben yomo, a cow, a male cow, in, in, one, in his first day, it's like his father, okay? Shor ben yomo, kawu shor. He's mature, he's, for example, I have an aquarium in my home, and we have small uh, fish there. They, they were born yesterday, and they know how to swim, they know how to eat, they know that I'm their enemy, okay? If I'm putting my finger, they're not gonna, daddy! No, they are running away from me. How do they know that, okay? They are born whole. A man is not like that. A small kid, you know, he's, he bore, he's born, he's golem. How do you golem? Okay? He's like a golem, okay? How do you call golem? Golem. Golem. golem? golem, okay. He's a golem till he was like a year, year and a half, okay? He doesn't understand anything. So a, a person is something that developed, okay? So Yaakov, it's something like at the end. Yaakov is the, the heel. Okay, so the, 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 we have the two of them in our, our in ourselves. For, for example, I will take Rivka. For example, Rivka by banim bekirba. The two of them are inside of her. Okay, we have Esav that he wants to eat hal iteni namina adoma adoma. It said in the, in, the, in the verse. He wants to eat and eat now. He he, is, he willing to even to, to sell the the, the bechora because he wants now the, the 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 enjoyment. He doesn't care what will happen in the future. Yaakov, he sees what will be at the end, okay? At the heel. I want, of course, each one of us want to, to have enjoy, uh, pleasures, but I want to know what's the effect, what will be the outcome of this uh, uh, pleasure. I told you about the, my story in the French restaurant before the army. I have a righteous wife, okay? And she's uh, FFB, as you call it. She's from from birth, okay? And she told me, no, you know, my husband, I love you and everything is okay, but you know, you were secular till you were 25. Please explain to me how could you, you know, finish and stop doing things that you loved, okay? Because I won't tell you everything in the secular world is, you know, not pleasurable and now I have, I have a good life now. No. I had a nice life then and also now, Baruch Hashem. I didn't left the secular world because it was bad there, and now I have nice life. No, of course, it's, this is not the reason you become Baal Tshuva. You become Baal Tshuva because this is the truth way.
Even though it won't be nice, this is the truth, and I will go the, in this way. I, I'm, thanks, I'm giving thanks to Hashem that it's also pleasurable, okay? But go, let's go back. My wife asked me, you know, how could you stop doing things that you love as a secular person, okay? When you discover that there's a shame in things. So I told her before the army, one of my friends, we, we, we knew that we are going to a combat unit, so maybe we won't com come back. So we decided to go to a trip abroad. We didn't have a lot of money, so we saved really small money, and we went to uh, Europe. Okay, it's very uh, cheap, uh, it's very close. So we were in, on Switzerland, and Italy, and France. And at the last week, we had a little money that we saved. So my friend told me, Fungia, let's go to a restaurant. And we made a mistake, and we went to a French restaurant. Why it's a mistake? Because the French people doesn't speak English. Je n'ai pas parlé français. I don't speak French, Francais. A little bit English, but not the Francais. So we came very hungry. We didn't eat from the morning, so we will enjoy the food, really, OK? So we came to the restaurant, and the waiters came to us, and hi, what do you want to order? So I had a miracle, because at the table next to me, somebody ordered like spaghetti something, so it was looking very good. So I said to the waiters, I want that, OK? I said, OK, that will come to you. He asked my friend, what do you want? So my friend told, told him, I want a fish, a fish from the sea, fish, fish. So he said to him, which fish do you want? You know, he, he showed him in the menu, like, a thousand fish. So he said to him, I want fish bon. Bon is good in France. So he said, I, I want fish bon. OK, I'm counting on you. Bring whatever you, you think is right. I want a bon fish. So the waiters came after 15 minutes with a bon fish and a spaghetti for me. I jumped into the spaghetti. Nice. My friend started eating the fish. But you understand, it's a, it's a gourmet restaurant. It's luxury. It's like, like taking a filthy fish with a carrot on his head. No, it's something very special. Okay, it was lettuce, okay, and cucumbers, and um, I don't know, and eggs, and in the, in the middle, fish. That kind of fish. Okay, that's a part, a piece like that of fish. And my friend started to eat the fish. I'm asking him, Ronani, how is the fish? He said to me, Heaven. Okay, I have never ate something like that. <laughs> it's pleasurable. You said something that drives you. Okay, I can drive with it to a lot. Okay. <laughs> It's wonderful, but it's small, finish very fast, okay? So he called the waiters, can we order some, some more? Because he's, he's hungry, okay, it was a very small fish. So the, waiters, uh, the waiter brought us the, the, uh, the build, so we'll see how, where, where, where we are standing. So for me, for the spaghetti, I, I, it was uh, $25, it's, it's okay, it's reasonable. For the fish, it was $113. He said, what? What, it's the golden fish? So the waitress asked ask him, did you enjoy the fish? I said, I enjoyed that, but it's not worth the money. Did you enjoy that? I told you I enjoyed that, but it's not worth the money. But you enjoyed that. I told you I enjoyed it, but it's not worth the, one, the money. But you enjoyed that. My friends stand up and say, if you will tell me once again, once more, that I will enjoy that, I will break your bones, OK? He said it in Hebrew, so we won't understand. So, <laughs> so it will be an antithesis. But uh, the waitress understand. He whistled and came from the outside the security guard, okay? I'm telling you, like a refrigerator, okay? Schwarzenegger, you know him? It's a little sister of his, okay? He came to him, you know, do you have problems? My friend, no, 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 I'm paying, I'm paying. And he paid, of course he paid. So I told my wife, there are things in life that are tasty, of course. But if you will think to yourself, how much do you, ha you will have to pay for that? It's not worth it, it's not worth it. Not, it's not, Tasty, of course it's pleasurable. Yet Sarah, the evil inclination, won't you know, give us something that's not pleasure, pleasurable. Of course it's pleasure, but I have to be like Yaakov to, th to think what the outcome will, will, that I will get from this enjoyment, okay? So Rogale, you can eat as much as you want, but you have to understand everything that you're puzzled to do or not to do, I have to think about, maybe I will get pleasure from that, but what will be the out outcome in, in the future? So pleasure and pain, those are the f two forces that drives me, okay? So each thing that I'm doing, I can help myself because I can focus and on what I will focus on, this is what I will see. If I will see the rogale, of course I will, I will, I will focus on the, on the pleasure. But if I will focus on the outcome of the eating of the rogale, even though rogale is not something bad, okay? So I will, I will focus on that and that will enlarge and that will influence me more. So each deed that we have, what to do and how to do, I can, I, can, I can help myself. And of course, we have to understand, not everything I can change, but all the time I can change my reaction. Okay, for example, we, we talked about restaurant. 
For example, take a few girls that went to a restaurant to celebrate the birthday of one of the friends. Okay, and they are laughing and the vetto, of course, and it's very modest place. It's only girls. Yeah, everything's okay. And uh, and a cockroach flew into the restaurant. <laughs> so the cockroach doesn't know how to fly very good. Okay, in the evolution, he was stuck between the butterfly and and a, and a bird. Okay, something. So he doesn't know how to fly very good. It's, and he's flying to the restaurant. And the girls are laughing, eh, have fun, yeah, we have fun, I wish Hashem will love you, yes. And then the cockroach landed on the shoulder of one of the girls. What do you think was her reaction? Yeah. Of course, no, no, son, thank you, thank you. Like it's a dragon, okay? Of course, uh, half of the restaurant ran away. <laughs> <laughs> and she's shouting, ah, ah. The security guard came with a gun. You know what is it? You know, on the ground. You know, it's a thirsty ear. So she 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 succeeded to you know take him away. She pushed him away, and the cockroach flew into her friend hair. Oh, she had a crawly hair. <laughs> into her, her hair, <laughs> you know, with all the power. <laughs> and he was struggling his hair. <laughs> yeah, funky. Stop it, okay. So <laughs> he wants to get out. She, she started shouting again. Goes, ah! And all the restaurants flew away. <laughs> Policemen came here. You know, what is happening here? You know, lie on the ground. And then the cockroach saw the policeman. Okay, so he flew on him <laughs> and landed on his shirt. <laughs> so the policeman was, you know, stopped everything, and everybody's looking like, you know, what will happen now? <laughs> so the policeman, the policeman took his hand like that, <laughs> and up, oh, grabbed the cockroach and. <laughs> Ate him. He was Thailandi. <laughs> uh, so he took the cockroach and threw him away. Now I'm asking you a question. Who, who is responsible to the mess in the re restaurant? What do you think? The cockroach. Oh, it's, it's, it's him. It's him. I'm sorry to tell you, but it's not him. Because when he flew on, on the policeman, nothing happened. Okay? And maybe the cockroach is also here. And he doesn't do anything wrong. Okay, he doesn't do anything bad. So it's not him. And it's a very important thing to understand because in your life, you will meet a lot of cockroaches like that. <laughs> Maybe your husband sometimes will be a cockroach. His mother, of course, she's very, she, she, she is a cockroach. Okay? She's the biggest cockroach I know in, in my life. Okay? So <laughs> I will tell you a story. Uh, she's a very, very famous uh, speaker. I won't say her name. You don't know. Maybe. Uh, she said that she decided to buy a new home. A new, a new house in Tel Aviv. Okay, it's very nice. It was very old, and they're supposed to break everything and to build it again. And uh, they were stuck with a uh, uh, pillar. Pillar? They were stuck with a pillar inside, in, in the middle of the salon. And she started to, you know, to complain. It's a pillar, 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 pillar. Pillar. A pillar in the, in, in the middle of the salon. A pillar. This was the talk of the day. A pillar, 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 pillar. All her friends came. Yeah, but to see the pillar. You know, I, I hate the peace pillar in the, in the middle of the salon. Pillar. Okay. When you stuck on something, whoa, 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 whoa. A Rottweiler, you know what's going on? He also stuck on something. It's very dangerous. So she started to complain. Pillar, pillar, pillar. One of her friends told her, you know, stop complaining on the pillar. It won't move him, okay? It's a pillar. Maybe do something with this pillar. He said, what do you mean? He said, put maybe an aquarium or I don't know, plants from above. Maybe it's called hipui kir. How's it hipui kir? Wall covering. Wall covering or something, okay? Do something nice. A mirror. A mirror? You, you're advising her? You know, okay, okay, it's okay. A mirror, okay, it's a good idea. <laughs> so she decided to do something with it, with a pillar. She did aquarium, mirror, maybe a plant. It was, it became the attraction of the home. Everybody came. Look at this pillar. It's the most beautiful thing in my world. Home. It's a pillar. It's not just a pillar. Okay. okay. So sometimes <laughs> you are stuck with something. Okay. But the the cockroach is not the, the problem. So who's responsible of the of the mess? Okay. Maybe you will see. You will say this girl. Okay. But this girl, she's not responsible because maybe she's sitting here and now she's, she's nice, okay? So the reaction of the girl is responsible for, for the mess. So let's take an equation, it's like that. E plus plus R equals O. It's an event. Event 
plus reaction equals outcome. Okay? So if I want a different outcome, sometimes I cannot change the, 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 the equation. Okay? Hashem is, is challenging us, each one of us. And Rabot Machashavot Belevish, I can, you know, uh, uh, plan things and uh, you know last week uh, two weeks from now I planned it you know to come here on a time and I was late and after I went from here you know I had a lecture in Jerusalem and Mrs. Sharon know that and I had a lecture and I, 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 I didn't have gas or fuel and I had to come back here and I had a big mess you know my day was such you know precise every minute I know what I'm supposed to do in my day and Hashem decided to do different things okay so for us the event, it's something I cannot control maybe, but the reaction, I do. So if I want to change something, I have to focus on my reaction. And even though I want something pleasurable, okay, but I have to understand it's my choice to choose how to react to that. I don't have to do everything I want. I have to think a bit further. It's, it's worth it or not worth it. And I will tell you one sentence, maybe I told you, I don't remember that, but try to remember the feeling after before. I will repeat that. Try to remember your feeling after, before. And I mean like that. For example, if I, will, if I will see now a cake, okay? And I will eat the cake. And I eat a lot of the cake, okay? And a lot of, a lot of the cake. What will, the, will be the feeling after that? Nauseous. <coughs> okay? Try to remember the feeling afterwards, before. Every time you know you want to do something, and it's not, it's not the first time you are doing that, okay? Try to you know, imagine what will be the outcome, and you know it will be the outcome, but you don't ask yourself, you know, at the beginning, I, I want to do that, okay? I want the pleasurable burglar. So try to remember the, the feeling afterwards before that. And the same thing in the, in the opposite way. For example, I want to go to Shul Torah, or for, I will tell the truth, I don't want to go to Shul Torah. But I, I, I'm, I'm taking myself to the Shul Torah, but after that, I have a good feeling. So remember the feeling afterwards, before that, and it will help you because I can make something pleasurable. If I will understand how much I will gain from this Torah, how much I will gain, not even the other world, even this world, okay? So it will move me to do that. So I will use three things. First, first thing, let's call the focus. Okay, I can focus on what I want to decide to focus on. I can focus on the, on the pleasurable things or on, on, the, on, the, on the pain, okay? And I know if I want to do something now, I can I can say to myself, Fungi, if you won't do that now, it will, you have to do it later, and later it will be much more painful. So it's better to do it now and to finish with that. It's called eat the frog in the morning. Do something that you have to do and finish with that. Don't postpone it because you will be sorry after that. So this is the first thing. The second thing, I can focus on the pleasurable thing. For example, I want to learn Torah. So if I, I, will, I will focus on how much I'm getting from this show Torah, and I will really enjoy that. I will let myself enjoy that. But the problem is, we associate occasions, deeds, with the pleasure or the pain. And I will explain to you. I was in, in a river in Israel called uh, Nachal Amud, okay? When I was a kid with my parents, uh, from the work of my father, they took us to, to a trip in Nachal Amud, and we got lost. And as a kid, I, I, now I don't want to come to, to, come to, this, to this river, uh, even though there is, no, it's, it's more uh, organized. But then I don't want to go to this river, even though to go to the river, river, it's a nice trip, okay? But in my head, Nachalamud and painful experience are going together. I associate the two of them together. And it's reminds me till now, okay? And for example, Nachalamud, I don't care. But for example, let's take, for, for example, uh, learning Torah. Okay? For example, maybe we talk about it. But take a little kid, okay? He's in the in Talmud Torah, and the, 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 the teacher is giving him criticism, all, criticize all the time. He's, uh, he's punishing him. There is very big, you know, tachau, there is a competition between the, the kids there. He doesn't understand the material, uh, material. It's hard, it's very complicated. And he's raised like that, that learning Torah it's, it's with pain. Uh, he's associated it's with pain. And I don't want to learn Torah, okay? And on the contrary, if I will do something that is pleasurable, I will want to do that. So it's, it's, I, I have to be really be careful not to associate things, even I'm doing that unconsciously. For example, relationship. I, a woman talked to me on, on the way. She had a very hard time. She had a very hard time with her kids, with the, the neighborhood that they are living in, the, in the, and, the, and the parnasa. And her husband is working at home. So all the time, she's looking at him, 
Okay, there's a problem with the kids. Here is he again. Uh, there is a problem with the co uh, coronavirus. Here is he again. A problem with her mother. He. So she related all the pain that she has. She associated with her husband. Okay, and she, 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 she decided that he is the source of all her problems. Okay, not him, but as she sees her, she sees him. She sees him. She doesn't think about it, but she sees him. And here again, I have a bad feeling. Okay. And of course, if I will, if I will understand that, sometimes, sometimes I can ruin a relationship only because of, like I, I anchored, I anchored, okay, my, the feeling of, of uh, bad feelings with my husband. But if I will do nice things with, with him, because at the beginning, you know, we are very uh, moved to, to do something together. Let's go to eat outside, and na 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 na. na. And after a few years, Kilo dying. Okay, we had enough of that. Uh, I have work, and we have to take care of the kids, and we have don't. don't have don't time. No, we don't have time for that. And I'm not putting effort in my, in my relationship. And then you know, my relationship is only bad things. Only, only something I have to do. Okay, so I have to understand that pain, pain, and and and, and pleasure. I'm associating it with uh, with occasions, with people. So we, I have to understand that and to change that if I can do that. So f the first thing is focus. The second thing is questions. Pay attention to what you are asking yourself. For example, if I'm asking myself, why does this happen to me? I won't get a good, good, good feeling from that. Okay? If I will ask myself, do you think I can, I can do that? I don't think I'm, I'm good at that. If I'm asking questions like that, I will get a feeling that I, I'm not capable, I'm not competent, competent to do that. But if I will ask questions like, okay, I want to do that, how can I do that in the best way I can do that? Okay, I want to improve my relationship, how can I do that? No, you, you think that I have, like, that our relationship have, you have a future? If I'm asking questions like that, it's like doubt questions, okay? And it will make me think like I'm doubting all, all this relationship. So I have to be careful what, which question I'm asking. And the last thing is, because with that, it's, um, it's something that each one of us needs to to do that, it's to overcome things that, that people hurt us. For example, there was a story, very from a story, maybe you know that, of two brothers that they were living together, two farms together, and they were really in good connections. They loved each other, they helped each other, till one day, one brother told to another bro brother something, okay? It's every time it's starting with a very small thing. He said like that, and he answered that like that, and his wife told her, you know, don't be in touch with your brother, and the other wife said, you know, your brother is all the time using you, you don't have to be like, you know, he's the nice guy all the time, you know, you have to stand for yourself, and they started to fight. They started to fight, and the two farms together, and one day, uh, and the older uh, brother, somebody knocked on the door, he opened the door, and a guy with the tools of a uh, carpenter said to him, you know, I'm, I'm a carpenter. Do you have a work, to, uh, work for me here in the, in, the, in the farm? He said, yeah, I have something for you. You see the farm over there? It's, of my, it's my neighbor, okay? It's also my little brother, okay? But, you know, he took a river and pulled him into my farm, okay? Because, you know, he, he wants to make uh, trouble for me. So I want you to build a fence near the river that I won't see him ever, okay? Two meters of a fence, I don't want to see him ever. So the computer say, okay, I understand that. Uh, okay, show me the, the, the woods, I will do that. So the owner of the place, the older brother said to him, this is the place of the woods, I'm going to the city and I will, will come back at, at night, I will, shoot, I will see what you have done. So he came in the night, the older brother, and he saw that not only he didn't build a fence, he built, he built on, uh, over the river, a bridge, but a very beautiful bridge. So he said, to him, I, you know, I told you to bring the, build the fence. And as, and as they are talking, the little son, the little brother came, walked over the fence and came to, the, to his brother and you know, hugged him and said, I, I, I admire you, you're, you're such a wonderful person. After all the things I've done to you, you're building a bridge, a bridge between us. You know, I love you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, right. So uh, the other brother told the, the carpenter, carpenter that he, you know, he started to organize his tools. He said to him, you know, please stay with us. Stay with us for a few days, you know. We have a lot of work here in the garden. So the carpenter said to him, I have a lot of bridges like that to build. Mm -hmm. Nice. Maybe he was Eliyahu Navi, I don't know. But the story is very nice because in our period of time now, it's three weeks that we're supposed to br build bridges, okay? First of all, the, f the first bridge I think I, we have to build between ourselves, okay? I can't hate myself all the time. I can't you know, hate myself 
and finally you are not good enough. You see, you procrastinate all the time. Nothing will get out of you. So of course I have to be to build the bridge between me and myself. The second thing, the bridge between my family, okay, your 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 husband, my wife, uh, kids, and uh, neighbors, okay. Of course, I have to build bridges, and you're supposed to be the first one that start to build the bridge. Don't wait to the other person, because from my experience, each one of us are, are sure that he's right, okay, that he's right, and everybody did offer things for him, and you know, uh, my father-in-law drove with a cab driver. He was sitting um, from behind, and he saw the cab, cab driver is a little bit upset. So he said from the, behind, he said to him, you know, you are right. And the cab, cab driver said, you're, you're right, no, I'm, I'm right, you know, and it's often that nobody understands that. So each one of us wants to feel that I'm right, okay? I'm doing the right things, but don't, nobody understands me. And she, she, she's to blame. And I'm telling you that, sometimes people are talking to me on the phone, and for example, there is a problem with the relationship. So I'm hearing my, the husband, and he starts, you know, my wife, and I'm hearing that, and I say, whoa, he fell strongly, okay? His wife, she's a witch, okay. You know, there was a, I will tell you, uh, there was a little kid came to his father at night and said, Daddy, I have a witch in my room. He said to him, Mommy, go to sleep because the witch is sleeping next to me. Stop, because you know. <laughs> um, you can say that the husband the same uh, joke. So, so, so I'm hearing the, the wife. So I'm telling the husband, please tell your wife to call me. I'm hearing his wife, and I'm saying to myself, she felt strongly. He has, I don't know what to say, the, 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 other, the other side of, of a witch. The witch man, okay? Witch man. Wizard? No, no, no. Wizard, no, no. Monster, thank you. Yeah, monster. He's a monster. You know, he's such a wicked person. I, I can't believe I, I talked with him. When, but when I talked to him, he convinced me, you know? When I'm talking to her, she convinced me also. So who's right here? I don't know. Maybe the both of them, okay? So we have to understand each one of us are sure that he's right. And what I think I, we need to do to build bridges, I call it the three sh pair of shoes. The first pair of shoes is mine. Get into your shoes and try to understand what you are feeling. What happened? So your husband says, said something. Oh, your kid did something. So what happened? I mean, I'm telling to myself, what, okay, on one point, delicate point, my wife you know, pushed me up. Mm -mm. What happened to me? I wanted to understand what happened to Fanger. You know, because each, each time I, I'm becoming mad, of course, the, like, there is a ritual. It's not the first time. And I, I, I told you that, that I was puzzled, what is Sinat Chinam is? You know, Sinat Chinam, the temple was destroyed because of Sinat Chinam. Do you, can you give me one example of Sinat Chinam? Not two, one? You have an idea of Sinat Chinam? Uh, I don't think there is. What? No, give me a practical, not Kamsa Bar Kamsa. Today, we have Sinat Chinam today or not? Yes. Give me an example. Dress. Some, I don't like somebody's dress. What they you do. don't like somebody's dress because this dress is not, you know, nice. It's not for nothing. It's not a sinat chinam. Sinat chinam. It's I'm hating somebody without any reason. There is a reason. I hate this dress. It's not sanoa, okay? It's not modest. And I, I hate. She didn't show the, the dress occasionally. She's a person like that. He, yeah, of course, I hate the secular people because I have reason, okay? I hate the orthodox people, I have reason. They're orthodox, you know, I can't bear them. I can't bear the, the secular people. They are seculars. They are, I don't know, Hashem, okay? And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I hate them. If they will come back, tshuva, okay? But they, they, they are not, I'm, it's not for nothing. Sinat chinam, it's I'm, I hate somebody with no reason. So, okay, I will help you, okay? Let's make it short. One of the answers, it's, I saw it in a book called Darke Musar, Farav Neyman, and he said like that, of course, if somebody did something bad for you, you will hate him, okay? If somebody will call the, the Moatza, the, uh, how do you call it? The Diria, the counselor, the council, the council. and say that you built something that it's not, uh, you know, with uh, and legal, you won't love him, okay? Not very much. Maybe you will hate him at the beginning, but, he says, 
I, 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 permis I, I give me a permission to hate somebody one minute, but not more. For example, the, the Mishnah, Mishnah Be'avot says that there are three degrees of uh, somebody who's getting married, um, uh, angry. Married, angry, okay. <laughs> the, worst, the worst level is somebody who's getting angry very fast. This is the worst uh, degree, getting uh, angry very fast. And to console him, it's very hard, okay? So this is the worst level. The best level, level is somebody who is uh, very hard to make him mad, but very easily is becoming, you know, is consolable. consolable. So why it's not the best level not becoming angry? Why the best level is it's hard to become angry and it's very cons consolable? So why the best level it's not becoming angry? Because if you are angry, you are human, okay? But how long you, be, you will be angry, it's in your hands, okay? So I'm, 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 it's okay that you will be angry for one minute, but not more than that. A minute after that, it's your work. For example, if my wife says something to me, and I'm, I'm insulted, okay? Why? So, and, and she finished, she didn't, she's not continuing with her talk. Sometimes she's continuing, but let's, you know, she said one sentence, and that's all. And a minute after that, I, 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 I noticed that I'm saying to myself things, you know, this is the way she talked to you. This is the way she talked to you. And I'm doing to myself this. This is self-work, okay? This is for no reason, okay? This is chinam. So I'm, I'm, I'm allowing you to hate somebody because you're a human being for one minute. Just, it's, uh, one minute is just an example, yeah? Maybe two minutes, okay? But after two minutes, stop doing that. It's, it's, your, it's your work. Don't continue to do that, not for an hour, not for a week, not for an, an, a year, chas v'shalom. So we have to understand, if I want to forgive somebody, you know, there is like this kiyat shmala mita. Every night before we go to sleep, we're supposed to say, I'm areni mochel v'solech. I'm forgiving for all the people that made bad things for me. And not to, forget some, to, give some, to forgive somebody, it's to drink poison and to wait for the other person to die. Okay? If I'm not forgiving somebody, I'm suffering for that. Okay? And nobody in the world is, is worth it that I won't, you know, I, I will hurt myself. And of course, I, we have to help other people to honor them. I'm giving one example, I'll finish. Uh, I was in, a, in an institute, I gave a lecture in the Institute of uh, Problematic Kids, okay? Kids in danger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the principal said to me that when he, when he opened the, 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 the school, uh, a young guy, 17 years old, went into his room, closed the door, locked the door, came to him, grabbed his shirt like that, and pulled him into his face and told him, if you will honor me, I will give you my soul. But if you belittle me, if you underestimate me, I will take your soul. And I have few you know, records in the police that I can do that, okay? So be careful. So, he said to me, I, I was sudden, sudden in shock that he's a little kid, okay, but what he wants to be honored, he wants to feel that somebody is honoring me, don't believe in me, don't, uh, you know, say, I'm, I'm nothing, I'm like an heir for you. So if one to, 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 to succeed in this period of three weeks to, do, to be, build bridges, first of all, understand the other person. So we said three pairs of shoes, the first pair of shoes is yours. I want to understand what happened to me. Okay, somebody told me something. So what? I'm such an arrogant person. I'm such a low self-esteem. What happened to me? So somebody told you. So understand yourself. This is the first pair of shoes. The second pair of shoes is the other person. Try to get into the other person's shoes and to see the world from his eyes or her eyes. And you will see a different picture totally, okay? But you cannot stay with your shoes and, and to start trying to understand the other person. You cannot understand your kids, never. If you, only if you will get into the shoes and understand what they are going through, even from one day, not a year. If you were, were, you were, if you were a student in their school, okay, with their teacher, okay, let's see you survive for one year, not 12 years, okay? So I have to go into their shoes, my wife's shoes, your husband's shoes, your kids' shoes, to understand what they are going through. And the third pair of shoes is the consulter pair of shoes. I will explain. Each one of us are very wise, okay? We have, you know, advices to the, all, all the world. 
So try to say the advice that you will tell to somebody else, to yourself, okay? So go into the shoes of the consultant and think, if I would go to the consultant, what he will tell me in this situation to do? And then think what you will do, okay? And I'll finish one more story. It was a very, very, very famous story. It was a very wise person. He was learning Torah in one of the shuls. And it was in, in Germany. It was the beginning of the period of time of the Haskalah, okay? <laughs> so came a young guy and saw the, the old rabbi is studying Torah, and he started to curse him, you know, oh, the rabbi! And the rabbi, he doesn't react, you know, learn Torah, la, 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 la. So the kid saw that, you know, the, the rabbi is not responding. So he, you know, he raised the level of the curses. And he have all the Torah and all you know, the religious people. And the rabbi, la, 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 is learning Torah, he doesn't say anything. And then the kid saw that he doesn't react, so he, you know, he pushed more the, the level of the curses. And you know, even uh, Hashem and all that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And the, the Rebbe is not paying attention, learning to la, 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 la. So the kid saw, okay, there is nobody to speak with. So he said to the Rebbe, uh, Rebbe, are you? you? Do you hear me? Can you, oh, you hear what I'm saying to you? And the Rebbe said, yeah, of course. And you don't, you're not moved from that? You know, it's not touching you somewhere? somewhere? So the Rebbe told him, you know, I want to teach you something. If somebody wants to give you presents, and you decide not to get these presents, okay? So where are the presents are, are stayed? And the person, and the person that wanted to give you, gave the, the presents. You wanted to give me poor, precious gifts, okay? Wonderful words. I decided not to receive them. So they, they stayed, it's you, okay? So the kids, you know, it was shocked. How it's the first time nobody's answering him, you know, not uh, fighting with him. So he went home and he couldn't go to sleep. In the morning, he came to the Rebbe and asked for forgiveness. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I, I, I cursed you. I'm so, such embarrassed. I, I'm so embarrassed with, with myself. Please forgive me. So the Rebbe told to all of him, you know, you don't have to, to ask for forgiveness. You know, I, I forgive you. I forgive you yesterday, and I will tell you the truth. I'm today not who I was yesterday. For example, if you see a river, okay, and you like take like stones or dirt and throw on the river, on the river. If you will come tomorrow, you will see a sign from the stones or the mud or the dirt. Of course not. The water today it's not the water yesterday. So a person needs to be like a river, okay? Just let the things to flow. And you are today not the person that you were yesterday. And what was in the past doesn't have it's not equals the future. And it's your option how to react. And remember, E is the event, plus R, R is it's your reaction. And you can choose your reaction, you can focus R on the pleasure, on, on, the, on the pain, in every situation I can choose. Yeah, I will choose what's the, the, the better reaction that I'm supposed to do, and this will be the outcome. And if we will do that, maybe the third temple will be built. Question? You have a question about what, what I've said, what I didn't say? I do have a question. Okay. Okay, so that situation where, let's say, the husband, he's, he's avoiding the pain of getting something done mm -hmm. until the wife makes it more painful for him by nagging. Two options. Or? For or, I have two options, I will repeat the, the question, if the husband doesn't do something because he doesn't want the pain of the doing something, he procrastinates, and you said till the wife will raise the pain. pain of not doing and he will do that. But I can raise also the pleasure uh. of the, if he will do that, okay? And because a man is, is like a businessman. If you will know that it, I will get something for that, <laughs> I will do whatever you want. But I know even if I will do something, you will you know, have something to say about it, and you know, it's not worth it. For example, um, one woman said to me that she has, she has a problem with her husband, okay? She's asking for him to, 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 to uh, correct something in the home, to, to check something at home, and he postponed it, okay? What was hard for her? The neighbor. One day she called him. Hi, Yaakov. It's uh, Mrs. Uh, Zelikovsky, your neighbor. And my husband is abroad, and something, uh, well, you know, was, uh, was, uh, I need something that you will fix in my home. Can you come and fix it? Rav, it's the same thing that I need to be fixed. No? Does he, did he go there or not? I said, yeah. He said, how do you know that? You know him? I said, no, I know the neighbor. No, I will explain. But, but she, if she will, if he will correct something in, at, at her home, 
she will give him compliments. Yaakov, you have beautiful hands. I'm telling you, golden hands, okay? You were maybe a pilot in the army. He doesn't, the boy was in the army, he has a profile 21. It's a, okay, something, <laughs> he was released from the army. But she will give compliments to him, so he will go there. I told the, the wife, the woman, if you want your husband to do something at home, if he fixed something at home, a week from the day that he fixed something, till the week from the, tell, you know, give him compliments like he saved your life, okay? <laughs> This is a week after that. You have the life before and after he fixed the thing. A month after that, you will take him next to the thing because he doesn't know the connection without them and give thanks for him again. Uh, one and a half year, give thanks in the, in the supper. We'll just bring and, and, and one time in every year, in the date of the fixing, <laughs> do I know a lecture at the, your home? Afrashat chala, nishmat kol chai, and I can promise you, the, the house will be fixed from the little things to the big things. You don't say compliments to the husband, so this is your, you know, product. So, of course, if we will give thanks to each other, and, it's be, and we're supposed to speak about relationship, it's not now the time because there, there is kids here. <laughs> but uh, let's leave them, you know, optimistic. <laughs> but, uh, you know, life is beautiful and everything is good. But, uh, of course, we are looking about the, the pain, but it's pain to, to, it's to be, stay alone. So we, we, this, we really want to invest in that to, be, to feel the pleasure of that, and we'll live happily ever after.